Jack, I guess just in terms of the game plan, um, I know they were bringing pressure at times and you took some hits, especially in the second half, but just, I guess, particularly early, just how quickly did you feel like you were kind of in a rhythm? It, it felt like it didn't take you very long to, to, you know, just kind of find a comfort level there in the pocket. Um, you know, always the first drive, they haven't really played in two weeks. So it was kind of the first drive was feeling things out and seeing how they were going to play us. And then after that, I felt like we got in the rhythm and uh, we got going, you know, there's some mistakes here and there, but, uh, we also took advantage of uh, some opportunities, but back to work next week. All right, John Blau, then Jeff Rab Johnson. When you talk about taking advantage of opportunities, uh, that Taiwan ball and sack fumble, how, how big of a momentum shifter was that for you guys? I mean, you guys go down there and score a touchdown right after that. Oh, it's huge. The defense played great. They did an amazing, amazing job. Super thankful for them. Jeff and Kevin Brockway. Yeah, I was just curious. The hit you took, you go out, you get checked, you come back in. Just kind of take us through what you were feeling and then just coming back after after taking a hit like that. I was just I was just wanting to get back on the field. That, that's really all, to be honest. Um, you know, I love my team, and I just want to be back on the field. All right, Kevin Brockwood and Jim Coyle. Yeah, Jack, uh, the difference of the game was the red zone. Uh, you guys uh, came up with two touchdowns. They had two field goals, and then obviously the – the defensive stand yeah, just talk about your execution there uh what you were able to convert and see and particularly on your two touchdown throws yeah so you know i think we did a great job like you said taking advantage of um, our opportunities in the red zone um, we executed the plays i'm not going to go too far in detail about the plays but um, we executed the plays uh, did a great job doing that um you know and then like i said earlier we got some things to tighten up uh, um, Outside the red zone. Jim Coyle, the red Bozich. Talk about the toughness, not only the team show today, but that you had to show. And what message did that not only send to your team, but Wisconsin as well? Indiana is tough. I'm just playing out, plain and uh, simple. We're just tough. We're a tough team. Um, every single guy on this team fights, and one will never stop fighting. And that's really just the mes message that uh, we sent today. All right, Rick Bozich and Dylan Wallace. Yeah, I mean, this season you guys have <clears throat> beaten so many teams that Indiana hasn't beaten for a number of years, and Wisconsin was the latest. What is it about this team that has enabled it to do that? You know, Coach Allen says it all the time, and not many people believe it, but it's LEO. We play for each other. <clears throat> we play for Indiana. Um, that's that's really the core uh, of why, you know, we're, we're – um, Making big moves this year, I, I believe. All right, Dylan Wallace and Paul Gable. Hey, Jack, uh, I guess it's what's going through your head uh, in that kind of last defensive possession and just the excitement level when you see that pass uh, getting complete on fourth down. I was super excited. <laughs> I was super, super excited. You know, like I said before, the defense did an amazing job. Um, and again, super thankful for them. All right, Paul Gable and Peaks. Hey, Jack, your father was a walk-on kicker here at Indiana. Today you come on the road at Wisconsin, a place that Indiana hasn't won in a while and get to win. How nice does it feel right now for you? Yeah, it feels amazing. Um, really feels amazing. I'm so happy for this team. Um, you know, there's things we need to fix. But, you know, right now it just feels great. All right, looks like Pete's the last one. Jack, you ran it several times in short yardage. Is that something that you saw? What happened on the one on the one fumble uh, on the short yardage? Um, you know, like I said, you know, like I said, uh, uh, that was one of the mistakes that I need to fix, and that's on me. Uh, I got to have better ball security in that situation, and I think I was just trying to reach for the first down. Um, you now, like I said, that's on me, and I need to tighten that up. All right, thanks, Jack. We'll have the time in a couple of minutes. Thank you, guys.